Hey guys and welcome to PremandPrep.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the Mule R89 Safety Razor. It's a three-piece safety razor that resembles my Edwin Jagger DE89 LBL um, in a lot of regards. Uh, but let's start off with the weight of it. I just weighed it on my scale and it came in at 2.2 ounces. Which is fairly light for a safety razor. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be so light because when I pulled it out of the box um, first thing I noticed was how th the handle was pretty thick so I was expecting it to be at least three ounces but it turns out that this is um, the metal on the handle is not very thick uh, the handle itself is pretty light and the majority of the weight comes from the two pieces of the head, uh, which makes the balance point fairly high, but not too high. As long as it stays on the grip, I'm okay with it. Uh, so the balance point is right here, and it's pretty easy to maneuver from one hand position to another while staying on the grip and maintaining control of the safety razor, which is, which is okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, the balance feels good. Um, the weight is... A little bit lighter than I would like. I like it a little bit heavier so that the weight of the safety razor can really do the majority of the work. I'm, with this safety razor, well, when I'm shaving, I feel like I'm trying to let the weight of the safety razor do the work, but I end up using a little bit of muscle to cut the hairs on my face. Um, in terms of the grip, let's see if I could f get it focused in really close. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so the the grip is made of a bunch of wavy grooves that go from the top of the handle to the bottom of the handle. Um, they provide pretty gr good grip if you're moving your hand horizontally across the handle, but vertically, it doesn't provide the best grip in the world. Um, I haven't had too much trouble with it slipping out. Um, but I can imagine if your hands were super, super slippery and soapy and wet, uh, it could be possible. But the at the end, there are these horizontal um, pieces, and in between it, they have their mule. And that looks pretty nice, yep. Yeah. And that adds to additional additional grip and and also knowing where the end of the handle is which is nice um, in terms of the fit and finish it has a really nice chrome finish to it. it it looks absolutely amazing it's one of the best looking safety razors that I own by far um, the length I just measured it and it came in at 3.7 inches which is probably probably my favorite length and the best length overall for a safety razor for a couple reasons. Um, I have pretty large hands and anything under three and a half inches is a little too short to do all the different hand positioning uh, and grips that I would like to be able to use while shaving. So sometimes I do two fingers, sometimes three. A lot of safety razors I use, I put the end of the handle resting on my pinky and this is mostly for heavy safety razors. Um, and with 3.7 inches, I can do that. As long as my index finger doesn't get pushed up to here, which it would on anything shorter than 3.5 inches, then I'm fine. Um, it, it, lets me to, it allows me to maneuver it very easily without the handle hitting the palm of my hand. Uh, it should be fine for people with small hands, uh, and then people... With average size hands, it should be should be fine. Uh, so I think 3.7 inches is a great length overall for any safety razor. Uh, let's talk about the aggressiveness on on this guy, and it, and it does shave similar to my uh, Edwin Jagger DE89 LBL. Um, it's a little bit more aggressive, I would say. So I'm I'm rating it about a four out of ten on my aggressive scale. Um, and that could be due to the weight. A lot of it uh, is probably due to the weight since it's pretty light. You end up using, I think people end up using a lot more force when they're shaving with lighter razors and that results in it feeling more aggressive. Um, 
while they're shaving. But yeah, overall the headpiece is designed extremely well. It sits the blade perfectly. I haven't had a problem with that. Let me slip a blade in real fast. Yeah, it does a really good job of seating, seating the blade perfectly. Uh, there's no unevenness. Cool, yeah, looks good on both sides. It shaves the exact same on both sides, which is perfect. Yeah, so I, I really like the 3-piece safety razors just because they're going to last you a long time. Um, and they're really easy to clean and maintain. Uh, butterfly opens I own. Get, get dirty and it's a lot harder to clean them. Uh, also, there's more moving parts, so things are more likely to break down and, and wear out from normal wear and tear. But yeah, it's, overall it's a great 3-piece safety razor. The shave is great. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than I would like, but it looks amazing, uh, has a good balance point, uh, get a really good shave, and I just love seeing this thing sit on my stand. It's really a, a wonderfully crafted tool by Mule. Um, yeah, so that's my Mule R89 review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is a good safety razor for any beginner, and... If you don't have it in your collection as a wet shaving enthusiast, this would also be a great addition. Um, if you have a thicker beard, it might not be the best option because it's not too aggressive and the blade gap is pretty small. So I'm, you might want to go opt for something a little bit more aggressive in that regard. But uh, head over to primandprep.com. There's more information on the review. There should be a link floating around this article. Uh, to take you there, and I also have a lot more safety razor reviews and male grooming tips and articles on my website, and thanks for watching, guys.